Hi, my name is Mayor Cromwell, and I am a Gaia communicator, priestess, um, healer, speaker, award winning author, former worm herder, and uh, it is June 21st, 2018, and I have just canceled another meeting that I was supposed to do with a friend and colleague in the Netherlands because another Gaia has asked me to do a Gaia teach today, like now. And, um, and I'm gonna just download from her and speak for her. This is the way it works for me these days. Um, yeah, so this is the solstice here in Maryland where I live, the actual solstice minute is for us tomorrow morning at uh, 6.07 a.m. But we're already in the three days of solstice energetics. And this is a really powerful message from Mother that she wants me to give to all of you and would love for this to be broadcast far and wide, is this is a time to be still because she is still. The solstice and the equinoxes are very powerful energetic portals, actually, in our uh, planetary multidimensional planes. And with the solstice for the longest day in the northern hemisphere, shortest day in the southern hemisphere, all of our ancestors honored the solstice. All of our ancestors were so connected to Mother Gaia that they celebrated the solstice with days of ceremony. Most of these cultures, the early pagans, the indigenous peoples all over the world, and all of us source from indigenous peoples at one point in our ancestry. And so Mother is calling us to be still. And this is really hard for us in our modern day culture to be still because we're so busy. We're so good at being frenetic. And mother doesn't really understand. Well, she no, that's not true. She does understand how we got to that place, but she's calling us back, not just to her and her heart and the fact that she exists as a real spiritual being who's our planetary caretaker, <clears throat> And by the way, we have a new mother, Earth Mother, Mother Gaia. That's another story that um, I lead workshops and webcasts on. But moving right along about the solstice message from Mother, she wants us to remove the layers. We have layers of concrete between us and her. Now, that's not something we're going to do overnight, but we can at least go and find places where it's not concrete and connect with her. She wants us to remove the layers from our hearts. So many of us, and myself included, I've been working on this. So many of us have so many layers blocking us from our hearts, from the depths of <clears throat> our purest, purest heart energy, heart space. And our cultural conditioning has not served us in being balanced whole people here connected to Mother Gaia. She wants us to, to honor the cycles of the year. She wants us to remember how sacred we are. She wants us to, she keeps on saying to me, remove the layers, remove the layers. And there's so many layers. Um, for those of you who live in the urban areas and high rise buildings, you're gonna have a tougher time connecting with mother. You have many layers of uh, apartments below you between her and the earth and her heart in the center of the earth. But you can still go out to a park, touch a tree, open your heart to the tree. And of course, mother wants us all to be as sustainable as possible, but she wants the sustainability movement to wake up to and remember her and know that what we're really meant to be doing here on this sacred planet is living in joy and celebrating every day celebrating the fact that we have a physical body because we're all spiritual beings and that mother earth mother mother gaia is our truest truest mother she's the one who offers us 
such uh, unconditional mother love. And many of us grew up with a wounded mother who didn't give us the love that, that we sought, that we needed as a young child. And we can always curl up into mother's arms energetically and call on her. <clears throat> she's here. She's really here. <laughs> Believe me, she's really here right now in my space. But she's everywhere. Uh, so, frankly, I was not going to do this today. Uh, I have so many things I need to do. My list is umpteen million, you know, things to do. I was supposed to have a meeting right now with a colleague, friend in, in uh, Holland, but I postponed that because mother needs this message out today. And so on a final note, today's June 21st. If there's anything that you can do today or tomorrow to be still, to do a mini ceremony, to light a candle in front of an, a mini altar, wherever you are, to touch a tree, to love up a flower, to love up a bee or even a mosquito, which is kind of hard to do, I know. Come to the stillness because this is a time of great stillness during the solstice and it will help you heal. It will allow you to touch into mother's love because she's touching every single one of you who is watching this, who's listening to this. Her energy is coming through this Gaia teach. <clears throat> and I, actually she's asking me to amp that up. So here we go. I call on the creator, ho. I call on Earth Mother, Mother Gaia, Creatress, ho. I send Mother's healing love energy from her heart to my heart out to all your hearts. May all of you be touched. May all of you take in this healing energy. May all of you shed whatever thorns may be in your heart. And come back home. Come back home. Mother's calling us all home. And it's, it's love. Connecting to her heart in the center of the planet. It's the most powerful healing love. Oh. So be it, so it is. Anchor, lock, and seal. I am. We are. Okay, love and blessings to all of you. And um, please share this. Please share how much Mother loves us. Uh, I'm going to start crying right now. I'm just feeling so much emotion. My love hugs. <laughs>